In this video, you will see how to calculate the correlation coefficient and the coefficient of determination using the old operating system. Here is our data set. The first thing we need to do is to enter our data into the calculator. We start with STAT. Then we want to go under EDIT. We press ENTER. And I've already entered the data in. If there are values other than this that you want to erase, you can move your cursor to the very top, press clear, and then enter. And that will delete all of the observations from your list. To enter any data into your calculator, all of the X values should go into the first column. And you type in each entry and press enter. Once you've finished this, we want to go back to the main screen by using quit. Since quit is in blue, we press the second button, then mode. Now, in order to calculate our correlation coefficient, we must first create the linear regression. To do that, we go back to stat. We move over to calculate. Then we select option number four, linear regression. The calculator already assumes that the X values are in L1 and the Y values are in L2. So at this screen, you don't have to type in anything. You can just press enter. So here is our linear regression. This is the same as our Y is equal to MX plus B. A represents the slope, which we normally use with the letter M, and B is still our Y intercept. Now, in order to calculate the correlation coefficient, we go under VARS. Under VARS, we want option number five, statistics. Then we want to go to the third for EQ. And option number seven is our correlation coefficient. So we select seven and we press enter. So if we want to round this to three decimal places, Here's our third decimal place. We look at the number behind it. If the number behind it is five or above, we round up. So our correlation coefficient is about 0.896. If we want to find the coefficient of determination, R squared, there are two different ways we can find this. One way is just to square the correlation coefficient. So. If you just press the squared button, it takes whatever the previous line is and it squares it. So we get 0 0.8025. So we can change that to a percentage by multiplying by 100. And we have 80.25%. So the interpretation here is that 80 0.25% of the variability in Y is explained by the X in our problem. So the rest of our data, 19.75%, can be explained by other factors. The other way we can get your coefficient of determination is to go back to VARS, go back to option number five, statistics, third column, And right below R, you will find R squared. Press Enter. Press Enter again. And you see we have the same result, 0.8925.